a Pepsi. It's better on Coke. All right. Reaching Bob Kennison here. Sunday, August 13th. Approximately 4 p.m. Central Time. Fargo, North Dakota. Good afternoon, my patriots. It has come to my attention that the Charlottesville plowdown was a hoax. I've done some research, and basically what happened was the story we're being told is a car plowed into a crowd, killing one. There was a bunch of protesters protesting on the white nationalist movement in Charlottesville. But what actually happened, and now the reports say it was a gray Mustang, and other reports are saying that it was an Antifa member that got killed, which I can't confirm or deny that rumor. But if it was an Antifa member that got killed, that's one down, many to go. Antifa is a terrorist organization, and they must be dealt with. They are a threat to the white nationalist movement. They are a threat to the rest of us conservatives that want a free democracy for the for everybody. See, they believe in socialism and most of those Antifa members are Hillary and Bernie supporters. Well, they lost anyway. But anyway, the reports it doesn't make sense. I mean, the reports are saying it was a gray Mustang. I know my cars, and this was a gray Dodge Challenger. Dodge Challenger kind of looks like a Dodge Charger, but it was a Mustang. It was not a Mustang. It was a Challenger. And if you look at the car damage, there was like a white stripe or a, a kind of a stripe on the one car that was damaged, but there wasn't a stripe on the other car. This 20-year-old who uh, is allegedly the downfall man for this fake hoax. You see, they put out, the, the left put out this hoax to make it look like white nationalist conservatives are violent. That's why this car plow thing happened to Charlottesville, when actually that's not the truth. It was actually the left that are doing the looting, the rioting, the con for the death of cops. But they want to make it look like white nationalist conservatives are bad and, and, and uh, evil people. So they put out a hoax try to, you know, there's, there's some protesters there protesting on the white nationalist movement in Charlottesville and they had a car plow over some of them. That's what it looks like anyway. I mean, look at the damage on the car. I mean, it looks like, you know, and there was a one photo of the, the alleged, alleged fat girl that got killed. I mean, I'm not trying to make fun of her because she's fat or anything. But she had on some kind of a black whatever uniform when she was on the stretcher. That makes me look like it was Antifa, right? And they interviewed the mother of this alleged 20-year-old that plowed down these people. And she had no idea what the hell was going on. I seen the interview. She didn't. She said that she stays out of her son's political views. And she had no idea what was going on. She acted like she didn't know what the hell anything was going on. So it's not adding up. I think that this Charlottesville plow down thing was a hoax to attack white nationalist conservatives to make us look like we're violent when it's actually the left that are violent. So I'm not buying this hoax. It's another false flag. It's another false flag. So I don't even know if somebody died. But that's the story we're being told. And people are blindly believing it without questioning it, right? And that's how this uh, the left agenda is getting away with this shit. So the Charlottesville plow down hoax. I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video. But I'm going to go uh, inside this movie theater here. I'm going to go watch the movie Detroit, because that's where I was born and raised. That could be another hoax. Who knows? But anyway... Post in the comments below, or what do you think? Was this plow down thing a hoax? I'm seeing uh, 
I'm seeing the evidence of it, of these hoaxes in the past. There's flaws, and, there's, and sooner or later, the people are going to find out either way, you know what I mean? That's the way it is.